Hello, I am Ram Gopal from PresentationProcess.com. In this edition of PowerPoint Diagrams Tutorial Series, you are going to learn how to create continuum graphic in PowerPoint. The graphic you are going to learn today it looks like this. Here we are moving from red to green and you can see here the movement is gradual and this shape, this graphic looks stunning. Let us see how to create this simple graphic from scratch by going to a new slide. The first thing we are going to do is to go to Auto Shapes menu and under block arrows we are going to find this tool called as left right arrow. We are going to click on it and we are going to draw the continuum arrow. Now. I can always adjust the thickness of the stem of the arrow by moving the yellow handles. I am going to move the yellow handle to towards the edge so that the thickness of the stem is increased. Now this looks beautiful. The next step is to add a color gradient that moves from red to green. For this I am going to right click, go to format shape and I am going to use gradient fill. Since I have already used this color, it has come, come like this. Let us start from scratch. Let us take any of uh, the gradients here. So this is how uh, a typical gradient looks like. There are many stops here. We only need two stops. So we are going to remove the stops in the middle. So the way I am going to do this is, I am going to click on this stop and pull it down so that goes away and I click on the next one and pull it down and that goes away. Now let me take the first one on the left and I'm going to use a red color, a dark red color and as you can observe the gradient seems to be coming from top to down whereas I want it from left to right. So I'm going to change the color, change the direction. So this is the option you have, the direction here and you can click on linear right so that makes it move from red to the other color and the other color is going to be green color so there it is from red to green the transition is happening in terms of the color now we don't need the outline so shape outline is no outline the next thing i'm going to do is to go to shape effects and add one of the presets called as preset 2. Now that automatically brings you the shape that I was talking about. There is a bit of circular top bevel here. I am going to make this even more uh, accentuated. So let me go to effects option and the 3D format uh, tab is wh where we are going to go and the top bevel is already applied as circle. We are going to increase the width and height of the top bevel to say 20 width and 20 height and as you can see here it is already showing the impact here. You can always work with the values here till the time you get the result that you are happy with. Now it looks like a tube rather than a flat single arrow. Now that this is beautiful, all that is left for us to do is to add relevant text. So I am going to pick up from the AutoShapes menu the text box and I am going to write my sample text. So I am going to write say your text here and I am going to keep it here on this side. Let me increase the font to 20 and maybe write justified and move it here and make another copy. I am holding the control button while I dragged the text box to the other place and I am going to have it left justified and to mark the various points along I am going to use a simple marker which is going to be comprised of an oval shape. You can find the oval shape under basic shapes and oval tool here and to draw a perfect circle you need to hold the shift button while you draw the circle. I am going to give it the white color and shape effects preset and preset 2 to make this look interesting and this is the place where I'm going to keep the mark 
and the next one I'm going to keep here anyway we will come to this one a little later let us complete the mark here I'm going to use a line under auto shapes menu you can find under lines this simple straight line I'm going to draw the straight line while I hold the shift so that draws perfectly vertical line let me give a gray color to the line increase the thickness to say one and a half so you can actually find the weight here so maybe one or one uh, half is a good idea you can if you need you can have a dashed line for this one now that looks beautiful now I'm going to select both of them and press Control G I'm going to hold the control button while I make a copy here and I'm going to keep it somewhere here now I am going to have a copy of this this one made control C control V and I am going to flip vertical so arrange rotate flip vertical and I'm going to keep these two marked this way so that looks beautiful now I can write my text there I can have it center justified and make a copy here and make a copy here and make a copy here and there you go the diagram is complete so that is how we create continuum graphic this is one way of showing a journey I am going to show you some example templates where you can add you can show the path the travel let us uh, show me here this one is about the animation template this is taken from 630 plus advanced custom animation uh, pack you can see here the journey along the timeline the first one is about 2011 and what happened here and it moves to the next year 2012 and you have the text here and the next year's journey is shown here and the current year's journey is shown here so that is how we show journey along a timeline let me show you another example template which shows roadmap with milestones the reason why I'm showing you this is there are many ways in which you can show events along the path and this one is roadmap with milestones and here we talk about one end of uh, the roadmap then the next one the next one the next one the next one next one and the next one and all these beautiful effects are created using custom animation let me show you another example here this one shows events along a timeline where you have the first event and the second one and as you can see here the events are dropped by this animated graphic and you can have a number of these events listed down here and the interest of the audience is held by this beautiful graphic so here we have listed down 11 different events along a timeline and this one is about a circular process flow just to show you that you can show the journey along a path no matter which shape you choose see how we are able to show the journey along a circular path here as you can see to create diagrams with a lot of custom animation which are included with purpose takes a lot of time and effort if you're a busy business presenter who doesn't have the time to create such elaborate custom animated uh, slides for yourself you can always take a look at our 630 plus advanced custom animation templates for PowerPoint the templates pack has more than 630 advanced custom animation templates PowerPoint templates where you can just choose the template that matches your thought replace the sample text with your own text and your business slides get ready in no time creating professional quality business slides has never been easier especially the animated slides has never been easier hope you liked our tutorial on creating continuum graphic in PowerPoint if you want to learn more such tutorials if you want to read more articles to improve your presentation skills and PowerPoint skills or if you want to watch more videos like the one that you've just seen you can always visit us at presentationprocess.com thanks a lot for watching the video and happy presenting